Mishwanet, uh, you know, the fact is the BJP has gone to town demanding an apology. Yes, those comments of be it uh, linking the Prime Minister to a mouse because he was uh, not paying heed to the debate you wanted on the floor of the House or using the word of a dog weren't made on the floor of the Parliament. But they were unparliamentary to say the least. You know, Bharatiya Janta Party should be the last in the row of political parties to raise objections to use of words. The kind of language that the Prime Minister, the Home Minister of any of them use, forget about the floor of the house, but in election rallies will put a two-year-old to shame. So they should be the last ones to talk about it. But that is not the debate treaty. And I am saying that with some responsibility. Yes, everybody should speak parliamentary language. Yes, everybody should be in a dignified conduct. But that is not the issue. The issue is that China is doing things at the border. China has altered the status quo for over two and a half years now. What have we done about it? Twenty of our brave hearts died. What have we done about that? We are increasing trade with China at an astronomical rate. The trade deficit that Mr. Modi inherited in 2014 was $36 billion. It has gone up to $73 billion, more than double. They want to stay quiet. They are conducting military exercise troops with Chinese military for Russia's worst time in September please? 2022. The, the external affairs minister, Mr. Me, I'll come, let her finish. I'll come right back. The minister can get up and make any tall proclamations. The external affairs minister can get up in the parliament and make any tall proclamations. But the reality is that we in some sense are funding the Chinese military exercise on the border. And the prime minister of this country refuses to name China. He met Mr. Xi Jinping in Bali in November 2022. Did he raise the issue of 20 brave hearts? He was seen laughing okay. and smiling and, uh, you know, a lot of bonhomie with Mr. Xi Jinping, which is why questions will be raised. This is about national security. This okay. trans transcends the Congress or the BJP. This is about India's territorial integrity. All right. You know, as I bring in Shazia Ilmi, but Mr. Ne, the fact is this could is about national security. It's about China and India's relationship. It could be about everything else that you want to put the spotlight on. But... Sadly, what it's become is, because of the narrative set by some of your leaders, it's become about Chuha, it's become about Kutta, it's become about Pitai of our soldiers. And you no, also know the no BJP PC. best to turn no. it around and milk it, no, ma'am. And they have every right to do so. PC. I'll come back to you. But let me bring in Shazi Elmi. Let's just be fair. I'll just no, get PC. her in. I disagree I'll... with you. Okay. Ma'am, you're allowed. I disagree with you. You're allowed, you're allowed to disagree. To say that. I, you're I allowed to disagree. disagree with you. But I'll, I'll, I'll come right back and I'll bring in Shazi Elmi. Shazi Elmi, the fact is, in what context was this... Uh, you know, statement made. A, it wasn't made to the floor of the parliament. It was made in the context of the Bharatiya Janata Party running away from a debate is what the Congress alleged at that point of time. It didn't come in the context of possibly what the BJP is painting out to be is what the Congress alleges. So, first things first, there are three aspects to this debate. Uh, one, the topic on which I've been invited to speak, which is the kind of language used by Malika Arjun Kharge, the president of uh, 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 you know, president of uh, the Congress party. Two, um, the misgivings Congress might have uh, in the parliament vis-a-vis -vis the BJP. And third, what is going on across the LAC and but in particular the Tawang sector in Arunachal Pradesh. So first, because you invited me to speak on this topic, I will speak about the fact that Malika Arjun Kharge used not just very poor or uh, pathetic language, but really cut a sorry figure and not just by, by using the expressions like chuha, kutta, and invoking the balidan or kurbani of, uh, of the Congress leaders as uh, uh, in the context of, 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 of BJP or uh, Prime Minister Modi. Uh, if you are talking about present uh, situation, what is going on, I don't know what was the need to talk about the sacrifices made about uh, the former Congress leaders. And as Piyush Goel rightly pointed out, uh, Gandhi was all for dissolving of the Congress party. So this is in that sense, they, did, they disobeyed Gandhi <laughs> himself. So I can go into that. I can also go into the fact that uh, uh, about how the, the military uh, reverses that India suffered because of Nehru and because of the policies of the, uh, the, the former Prime Minister, the first Prime Minister of this country. I can also talk about, no, no, let me finish one by one. I can now also talk about uh, the secret agreement or MOU signed mm -hmm. 
between um, Rahul Gandhi and the Gandhi family, the, uh, the, the contents of which are not known, and the, the MOU between the Communist Party of China and the, the royal family of India, because clearly they're not the, uh, the grand old party, because this is clearly a knuckly Congress and not the okay. Congress, because it was not meant to be. And I believe in Mahatma Gandhi more than I would believe in Nehru or anyone else. And thirdly, I would like to say and reiterate that we can talk about that also. Uh, when, when you go uh, and talk about our Javans and talk about Pitai, when you invoke the, the sacrifices of Congress I'm leaders coming back of yesterday, uh, and, and, and you must talk about uh, uh, also the Chinese embassy giving funds to Rajiv Gandhi Foundation. And okay. all that has happened. I mean, I can t open it okay. and it can be... You know, when it comes down to your last but, point, Ms. Ilmi, but, but, but was kutta, this kutta billi talk and this talk of uh, Chuha in mm -hmm. the context of talking about uh, the Prime Minister or, uh, or the ruling party or dispensation is okay. completely uncouth, vulgar, and in poor taste. All right. Ms. Ilmi, you know, when you, about, okay, when you talk about... Okay. When you talk about, you know, the Chinese... Uh, Government or Can the I embassy giving in funds now? to the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation, ma'am, over 38 crores has been given by various Chinese-owned company to the PM Cares Fund also. So let's not get into that because uh, no, no, it's pretty not? much exactly PM the same. When it... No, no, it's not Can the I same thing. Government? Rajiv Gandhi Fund, PM Cares Fund is under the audit of the Indian government and authority. So, ma madam, so not, the, not a private so is the body Indian government, ma'am, is the Indian Preeti, government... Preeti, you always uh, low on your facts, I've noticed. No, ma'am, I'm not low on my facts. Let me tell you, what is the, what is the mandate Cares of the Rajiv Gandhi... Audited. One second. No, no, ma'am, you're making... Come you're come making... Okay, one second. One second. One second. Madam, you made a very pointed question that I'm low on my facts. Let me ask you, what is the mandate of the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation? You displayed... Madam, what is the mandate of the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation? So, let me say it. So Madam, Rajiv I'm Gandhi asking you, I'm, you're, I'm, you're, you're, you're charging me no, for being lower class, let me ask you, what is the mandate no, of the no, Rajiv I'm Gandhi Foundation? You. No, I'm charging you, I'm asking you, do you know the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation was a private foundation? Ma'am, do you PM know what the mandate for that is? It's for public good. Ke, one sec, let me, let me get no, into that. No, 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 Preeti, no, no, you are, you are skating on thin ice, that's why you're not letting me Madam, I, you have been speaking nonstop. Let me finish, allow me to say one thing. Finish, please finish. Since you jumped in to suppress Renate's uh, uh, rescue, let me jump to my rescue. Madam, it's not right. suppress Renate's rescue. You love, okay, you like to derail a debate. No, you no, can I'm derail a debate. I'm let me tell you the foundation. No, 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 no. Let me if, if the Rajiv, Rajiv Gandhi, Gandhi Foundation, the mandate let was it to... Why are you riled up? Ma'am, I'm not, you are absolutely riled up at all. You made a statement. I'm the moderator of this debate. is audited by the Auditor General, Comptroller and Auditor General. That is the difference. Now you get the it. fact is, both of them, ma'am, let, let me come in again. Let me come in again. both of them. You don't let know. Let me come in again. Let me, know. I'm not conceding. What am I conceding? No, no. The fact, you, you the fact concede, that the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation you. took funds from the Chinese embassy, the fact that the PM Care yeah, Fund so, was funded over 38 crores by various companies but, which are owned but, but and see their ownership in but, China. But, but, but the Chinese embassy, do you think there's a difference there? Chinese embassy and companies. Ma'am, these are money coming in China. We are still in trade with China.